So 7% of them will have ADD. So out of 300 students, how many will have ADD? Well, we do better do that cross multiplying thing again, huh? Okay. So we'll call this x. 100x equals 7 times 300. 7 times 300. Okay, so this is 2100. So 100x equals 2100. 2100 divided by 100. What happens when we get 2100 divided by 100? some guy talk about visual and active learning styles. The idea is to show you that there are other ways to get information across than the, just the linear text, textbook, flat, two-dimensional level. There's a visual level, something with action, and something that makes you, perhaps, work as well as a student. So the important thing here is look for teachers give you the visual and alternative style, and if your teacher is not giving you an alternative style, work with other students who can help you do so. After all, it's being in the real world that you discover the real math. For instance, let's look at this right here. If you were told that we had to get some more wood, we have to replace all the wood here, and I'm estimating 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. There's probably about 80 of these pieces. Now, they're averaging about two foot long each, two feet, and there's two rows. They're each down in the ground about another two feet. So what's the total amount of feet that we need here? We've got 80 pieces. They're two foot above ground, two foot below ground. And I have to go and buy linear feet of this. This is real math, okay? And it's visual. Students ask me, how can I improve? Some students might be wondering, where do I go to get more of this interesting visual math stuff? And you can find this kind of material. Here's an ice cream cone. And spheres. Something like this. How many of these cubes do you use to fill this up? Well, we've got one there. 